Hello, beautiful diamonds of light. This is your girl, Diamond of Light. I'm here to give you intuitive energy reading for the mind, body, soul, and spirit, okay? But that's what your girl do, okay? Yes, I hope your day have been well. I'm going to say I am working on my latest painting. And y'all, I'm so excited about where it's going so far. I am. I already gave y'all a little hit to do with uh, mermaids. Yeah, me, uh, you know what I'm saying? Her energy and... It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. What up, Omni? If you don't get in there and lay down, knowing you, why are you playing? Just walk back there and give him. A... <laughs> That's what's been going on, y'all. I've been being tested today. I ain't gonna lie, your girl been tested today. But it's all good. I see you love. Those people need love. <laughs> they need it. They need it. They do. They do. They do. Uh, uh, there you go. Uh, uh. You want my energy so bad. I'm just going to give you love. You can't have nothing else but love. Okay? Let's get to it. Beautiful energy oracle there. Wait a minute. That's it already. Let's see what we got going on. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Wanna jump out the deck, but that <laughs> spirit, all right. <laughs> Starman Terror there. What is going for the beautiful dimes of light? They collect it for the mind, body, soul, and spirit. What is it that you have us to know? Beautiful Starman Terror there. <clears throat> I like to say this one up this dick right here. I see a true colors. Cause you see how colorful. Don't get me wrong, a lot of decks colorful, but some about this Starman Terror that is my first deck that I ever got four years ago. So I see a true color. All right. All right for the mind, body, soul, the spirit, mind. Came out the bottom. Body, soul, and spirit. Body, soul. Yeah, my glasses broke, so when I put them on my face, they'll be laughing at me now. I gotta be able to see. <laughs> Hopefully, I can get a spirit. Hopefully, I can get another pet tomorrow. Magical dimension art. 
activate your oracle deck. What do we store for the beautiful diamonds of life, the collective? What do we have to look forward to for the mind, body, soul, and spirit? What do we have to look forward to for the mind, body, soul, and spirit? Thank you. For divine truth and clarity. Five came up at the bottom. Something coming to tell me if I'm going to spirit God. I'm going to keep it in there. All right, so the spirit. I'm just supposed to go ahead. I'm listening to my spirit. I'm going to say, no, I don't need to go. I don't know why, but they want me to put that one there. I'm going to say, all right, then, body, then. Body and spirit. I'm not coming out, so I'm just going to uh, pull two from the top. Okay, here we go. Body and spirit. I like the shuffle to not come out, but uh, this card right here, eh? I don't want to talk that much. All right, and for some inspiration, beautiful Amerian that what inspiration do you want to let the beautiful diamonds of light know or for the overall message for the mind, body, soul, and spirit? I just pulled one from this or so more than one fall out. I deal with it. I'll see what it says. Yeah, I got a little paint on my dang old Lemurian deck earlier. I was paint because I had everything around me and on the table. Okay, so I mean, it's uh, four. So I guess it won't need to have one for each column. Let's see. Mom, father, so let's go. Body, so let's there. Okay, here, let me put on my broken spigs. We have. For the mind, financial constraints in reverse, followed by <clears throat> forget uh, God is brand win, forgiveness in reverse, followed by the sacred crown upright, followed by breakthrough, um, leap of faith, freedom, new beginnings, followed by a uh, sacral chakra core creation. Mm. So, with financial constraints being in reverse, followed by forgiveness, it's like. Do it financial issues. It's like somebody been playing you for your money. Somebody been playing you for your coins. Somebody been, you know, with the sacred clown right here. You know what I'm saying? Upright. It's like some somebody been tricked. See, they've been trying to trap you. Trap you for your wealth. Trap you. You if you're the diamond of light, which I consider myself, been trying to trap us. Somebody been trying to trap us. Set traps for our wealth. Trap traps for who we are. We are we are the we are the we are valuable. So when I when they say financial constraints, somebody been trying to trap you and use your energy, right? And you figured out about it. You had some um you had a breakthrough about this. Something came to you assuring you that these snakes or whoever this was that's trying to pose as an angel is really you know what I'm getting from this is really in their lower chakra, and they and they're a snake, and they're trying to they're trying to get they're trying to get to you through this ascension as is they're on their ascension level as they're on their journey as well and posing as an angel when they're really not, and you figured them out. You figured out who this, these people, who this person were. And you like, you know, because they chose to be wicked, because they chose to, you figured out that that was all about games and, and trapping you and trying to steal your money and cause you, just, you know, despair and all this other stuff financially and or your, and, and devalue you and your self-worth. You, you, you like, I can't forgive these people because you figure out who they are. You're like... Chick, nigga, whoever you a snake, <laughs> you a snake. You acting like you posing as this this divine person, this divine feminine, divine female, when you really this clown right here. You a damn, you a you a you a pure clown that's trying to play games with people. And I don't found out about you, and I have to make the decision you to forgive you. And a lot of you like I ain't forgiving this mofo. 
Then I did too much. You know what I'm saying? But we, we need to. Forget it. Forgiving is part of our healing journey, you know. Excuse me, y'all. I've been dealing with a lot of issues. Forgiving is a part. And for some reason, when I get ready to do readings and stuff, like my sinuses and stuff get really bad. I think it's just because I be tapping in and everything get the run, run, run or whatever. Y'all, yeah, I'm trying to keep my glasses on, but they, they keep falling. But yeah, so... Yeah, just just be careful of the snake energy that's posing to be the light, cause it ain't nothing but a clown, honey. They got they got they got full of tricks, full of tricks up there. Tricks up for kids, but they got full of tricks up their sleeves. They're trying to play you to the T for your words and for your for your finances and for who you are. They're trying to put you in uh financial constraint. They're trying to make you <laughs> make you broke. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to make you don't believe in yourself. It's all kind of stuff they're trying to do. But, you know, you, you don't want to forgive this person. You don't find out who these people are and who this person are. You're like, mm, mm I see you, Snake. And I don't, you know, it's fucked up. You hurt me bad. And I'm, I don't even really want to forgive you. But, you know, we got it too. All right? So, let's go over here to the body. We have six chakra archangel, arch, arch. Angel Metatron upright, followed by Goddess Athena Knowledge upright, followed by the Temperance, followed by the Heart Chakra, yes, followed by the She Lotus and Unique Gifts. Yeah, it's like these people know you're talented. They know you're special. They know you got these unique gifts about you, and they want to try to take your gifts and manipulate you into being in their energy or they want to manipulate you to be in your energy right because they know you can tap into your third third eye they know you you hold wisdom you have knowledge within you like you have this galactic universal knowledge like how she know what she know you know what i'm saying with this temperance energy up here they're like yeah she magical as heck you know what i'm saying and you and your high heart and you and that's what you gotta stay in like because you're in your high heart because you have this uniqueness back you about you because you are the she lotus you are a blooming flower you will have to go into your heart to forgive these people but you can see these people that's how you're able to see these people for who they are because you are all of this you have all this magical energy about you and you have all these unique gifts because you've been doing a the chakra work you've been being divine and true to your heart true to yourself and true to others so that's why you can see this energy the snake energy when it comes those ones that pose to be divine acting like they done did the work and really had and you know what i'm saying you 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 see that you they know who you are they see you too they see all of it watching you they envious of you they jealous of you they want to be you they copycat you they mimic you they steal from you it's like and they want a piece of you and if they can't have you they're gonna try to do things to trigger you and manipulate you you know what i'm saying to play you they want to feed off your energy but you're like mm -mm, you've done enough no no i'm calling this shit out and here we go attachments mask off <laughs> mask off <laughs> mask off you're taking a mask off on these people but yeah for the soul part, we have attachment in reverse followed by um goddess hestia home in reverse i mean we have attachment upright followed by goddess hestia home in reverse followed by the king of cups upright followed by isolation yeah because um a lot of these people are attached to your energy and they don't find you know a home within their self. They don't find their self to be pure and vibrational and enlightened. They don't find that within them. They have all these. See, see her right here. This, if you look at her, you see how she's illuminated and she has like this. It seems like she has a lot of knowledge and she's enlightened. And she's surrounded by a lot of purple light and stuff like that. Like she looking to the stars. She just trusting herself and her beauty. It's in reverse. So these people, they, they, they don't. They have attachments. You see how she's she she they put on mask all the time. They in this dark gray area. They don't know who they are. They confuse. They they and they and they they chain to you know the lower vibrational parts of themselves. You know what I'm saying? And they pose as um they pose as they have wealth. They pose as they're these high high um. They pose as they got it all together, but really they just have a bunch of trash that they try to make look good. You know what I'm saying? They don't have a lot of wealth like they pretend to be because, uh, you know what I'm saying? They they have the potential to be good or they pose as if they're in their high mind or they got this energy about them, as I said. But they're really, you see how he, 
he sitting on all this junk or whatever. He's supposed to be this king, supposed to be on his pedestal and everything. But look at the junk and the pedestal he's sitting on. You know what I'm saying? His money is below him. Why it's not with him? He has a little power, a little power. But he ain't he ain't it. She see how he's still like, I got a lot of junk that I'm proud of. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? These people, they isolate. They want to isolate you. They're like, they go this home car, loneliness. Reconnection, they feel alone. They feel alone with themselves. They don't understand who they are. They can't look within. They can't tap into their unique gifts. They can't find, you know, or drive who they are. So they seek people like you to feed off of. They seek people like you to connect with. They seek people like you to, you know, they just, they, they admire your, your, your uniqueness. They admire who you are, but at the same time, they want to catfish. They want to do you wrong. They want to drag you down they, don't, they can't stand you to see what you are they can't stand to see your your strength and your drive and your your gifts it just irritates they it irritates their ass it itches their ass to see you like that and it's like they don't even know you and if they did know you or they do know you it's like why like just go be your best self that's what these people need to do they need to go do some healing work y'all and you know we doing all the work they are not, and they need deep soul guidance. And I'm got, got to tell you, those of you who are living in this energy, man, go do some shadow work, like really do some self healing and stuff, reflecting because you are still trying to drag the true diamonds light down, and you gonna end up like not finding, never ever finding your light. You are gonna always be dim and in that gray area, all that dark area, and that's not what you want. Because at the end of the day, we're going over to the spirit. We got all tied up right here, followed by God is Iris, communications in reverse, followed by justice upright, followed by awakening and the portal keep, keeper. Yeah, like um, <laughs> these people so all tied up and they all in, in your energy. They watching you. They all tied up in your energy, all tied up in what you're doing and they can't speak nothing good about you, though. They have nothing good to say about you. But they uh, they, they admire you, but they hate you at the same time. And they're, and they're wishing ill. They're trying to have you tied up. They're trying to have you all tied up. They're, trying to, they're all tied up in your energy, and they're trying to have you all tied up. They're trying to capture your essence, right? And then they don't never have nothing good to say to you. But... Since they're trying to take everything about you, tie you up, your essence, your energy, treat you wrong, drag you through the mud, buffoon you, and play you like you're not, like you don't know your worth, like you don't know who you are. And because they want to keep playing that negative low vibration the game with themselves and you, justice will be served. And then they're going to have to, because of all this just justice and all this dark night of the soul that they're going to have to go address regardless. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be hopefully forced into their awakening because we're awakening. They're going to have to go through their own portal energies. And then, like, the portal keep, keeper is, like, it's, like, certain portals that's opening up for us that's going to be close to them is what I'm getting. You know? And they're going to have to really go in and do some divine healing and divine work. But know that because you came into your awakening and, you, and you're doing what you're supposed to do, a lot of your memories, your connection with Source, with Gaia, with all that is going to come on while there's going to be closed minded. They're going to be too busy all in their head and, and, and heavy on their hearts, carrying their own hearts to be stunned about you in a minute. They're going to be trying to figure out how they can fix all the wrong shit that they done done. Because the God, Source Creator... And that their own ancestors are going to show them that we, look, you know, you knew better. You were warned and you know, and you just, what made you think you bigger than, better than, than them? What make you think you bigger than God? What make you think you can just do stuff and get away with it? Because it's been going, a lot of people been doing stuff for years, the same shit and for years to other people didn't get away with it. But then they came across, across little video, video of you that they can't stand but mine at the same time. They thought they could keep fuck you over, but at one point in time, people could fuck you over because you was low vibration. You was you you was you wasn't doing the work. But now that we always been protected, but when we start digging in our damn selves and doing our work and digging out all that bull crap and elevating, and they start to come towards us when we was elevating and we got this protection shield around us, that's when they start realizing, oh wait a minute, I knew it was something about this motherfucker, but I ain't know. 
This is what it was. This is what it is. Oh, man. And they're going to realize they have to back the fuck off. Or get tossed. Back off or get tossed. And it ain't going to have to be you to do the tossing, okay? I just want to inspire everybody. Like, I know we have to tell these. I have to tell these energies that come out for me or for y'all. For the, the beautiful diamonds of light, whatever for the mind, body, soul, and spirit. I give it as it is. I'm giving what's guided to me to speak on. And some people might not like it because I am here to express the truth. Whatever source creator and my ancestors, spirit guides have me to express or speak on that comes out through me through this cause is what I'm going to address. And a lot of people might not like what your girl got to say, but I'm not sugarcoating or holding back from nobody. And I hope my messages help a lot of you all. And hopefully it pierces enough of y'all thick ass skins that you'll get the point to realize, mm, I need to check myself. You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. I'm bad for your health. And I don't mean that in a bad way because the reason why some of us like people can be bad for people's health because they can be so infatuated with our light and who we are to where they can drain their own selves by trying to hate us that much. Or I can't be who we are and they're, and they're irritated by it when they got their own light to go shine and get. But some of us are NPCs, so... A lot of NPCs now playing characters like to Mimi. Like to cause mischief and mishap because that's what they're here for. To make us greater. Okay, until next time, beautiful dogs of light. Bye now.